Country strong. Country strong. Or a star is born. Or a star is born. Or crazy heart. Light. <laughs> Which is funny because cr- crazy heart light is tender mercy's light anyway. So it is, it's, it's, it don't come much lighter than this. It's lighter than a very light bit. So story is Gwyneth Paltrow is a country legend in rehab after something bad happened in her past, right? In Dallas, something bad happened. And is, is it kind of obligatory for country singers to be in rehab? Yeah, well, but for this mo- for this kind of movie, is, right. you know the old joke about what do you get if you play country and western record backwards? You get your dog back, your house back, your wife back. Blah, blah. Well, yeah, I know right. that one. Yeah. You know that one. Okay. How does it, how does it finish that joke? Oh, that was it. Okay, that was it. Right. So, um, yeah. is that joke in the movie? She no. Would She's... it have helped? <laughs> Carry on. She's in rehab. Who? Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, not, I mean, not Gwyneth Paltrow. The character that Gwyneth yes. Paltrow is playing, I who's a country and western singer, who has something terrible happened in her recent past. What was which, it? Well, I, if plot spoiler ahoy, okay, if well, you don't looked it up on the BBFC app, they would probably tell you, in fact. I'm okay, do that now. So something bad happened at the beginning of the movie. She's in rehab. We also see her having a relationship, a musical relationship with Garrett Hedlund, who they appear to be sort of flirting whilst songwriting. Here's a clip. Go on, please. What? I don't know. Make it yours. I like that song. What did you say when you start? I remember that day. I remember that day when I... When what? When we first met. I remember that day when our eyes first met. You ran, you you can't you ran into the building to get out of the rain because you were soaking wet. And when you held the door, wanted to know my name. Timing is everything. How'd you do that so fast? Oh, I didn't do anything. You were very headed already. You got it. Timing is everything. And that's the general sort of tone of the movie. Have you got the extended classification? I have, I have. tell you, contains scenes of people losing home, family, dog. No, it's, it's it's classified off. 12A for references to alcoholism and suicide. The central character's alcohol addiction is spoken about throughout the film. And be careful, just be careful, you don't give away plot yeah. Which also contains a number of scenes, da di da di da yep. The drinking is never glamorised and is always portrayed as having negative consequences for boy, her and for those around her. Boy, oh lordy boy, does it have <laughs> negative consequences for, the, for her and those around her. So anyway, so the story is, so she's coming out of rehab her husband manager played by um tim mcgraw who actually because doesn't sing in the film because he's the husband manager but you but you would imagine being one of the biggest country stars in the world he'd have been booked to sing no well not in not as part of the drama i mean all of this but, but he's not because the three singers, he's on the soundtrack singing yeah he is yeah because yeah, he, he turns up at the end of the film because the song turns up at the end of the film and so there's her so she's washed up but making a comeback there is garrett headland who is Bo, who is a kind of he's an authentic rising country star we know he's authentic because he plays in down and out honky tonk dives he don't appear to shave he don't appear to have changed his shirt in quite a long time and he's you know he's a little bit ragged around the edges that means he's authentic however he's a country rebel he's a country rebel yep. yes yee there is also a uh, leighton meester's um character who is a who is described by him at one point she says what do i look like he says you look like a country barbie doll and she says thank you very much which she takes as a compliment it's like that old uh, you know the uh, the dolly parton joke about you know cost an awful lot of money to look this cheap and um, is all of that yours yes it is and i have the receipts to prove it um so she is she is sort of put forward as the sort of the artificial country star he's put forward as the the real genuine you know grit and dirt kind of country star and in the meantime you have Gwyneth Paltrow as the star trying to make a comeback but on the other hand dealing with all these now obviously he doesn't take a PhD to figure out how this is all going to play out you've seen the movies in the past you know exactly the way it works so it comes down to do you like these characters enough to spend time in their company are you convinced enough by them and their performances I mean they do their own singing Gwyneth Paltrow does her own singing I mean obviously we saw her doing that before in that film duets and when she were at the Oscars you know because one of the songs was Oscar nominated she performed the song live I mean I have to I went in thinking, oh, Gwyneth Paltrow is a country western star. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to deal with this. And it is terribly... Uh, I mean, the, it is written very big, very large, very broad strokes. People to sheesh, God, blimey, no, is she not going to do that? Is she, yeah, I wonder where she's going. I haven't seen her for a while. Do you think anything bad has happened? Let's go off into the, you know, the character you think is going to go from one way to the other goes exactly that way. And at one, they keep singing duets. Do you remember that bit in uh, Walk the Line? 
when um, Johnny Cash and June Carter are doing um, they're doing duets on stage and actually some some of the sort of the great interplay the dramatic interplay that plays out with them singing around the same microphone on stage when they're sort of having this affair but they're not having this affair and they're sort of accepting it but they're not at the same time there are several scenes in this that attempt to replicate that and you cannot help but think this movie exists because Jeff Bridges recently won an Oscar for Crazy Hearts. I mean, you know, year and whatever it was ago, and Walk the Line is not that far ago. So clearly, there is still, in inverted commas, a market for this stuff. It's decidedly unremarkable in that way. However, Gwyneth Paltrow sings the songs in a you know she can clearly sing and actually some of the later scenes in which she's she's doing the kind of remember Bette Midler in The Rose mm -hmm. you remember the later scenes in Bette Midler in The Rose when she's kind of you know all over the place and she's sort of out of control and it's almost you almost unbearably can't watch it well Gwyneth Paltrow cannot hold a candle to Bette Midler clearly very few people can but she does do quite a good job of and you know I'm not a huge Gwyneth Paltrow fan she does do quite a good job of looking like a genuinely rattled country singer who doesn't quite know how to deal with the fact that there's a huge picture of her on a video screen Kind of. Meanwhile, the other two characters, the, the honky tonk guy and the Barbie doll country girl, get on with doing exactly how you expect everything's going to play out, and there's no surprises anywhere in the drum. The songs are all right. There's a song that you've been playing on the radio, which is which is credited to A. Martin, but it turns out it is A. Martin being Chris Martin, which again makes me think, oh blimey, Coldplay writing country and western songs is not something that I want to. But it's fine.